Remember, in tonal music, you are always in a key of seven notes, seven functions. The most important of these notes is the leading tone, and the most important of these functions is the dominant. The most important interval is the tritone, found in between T and Fa. These relationships define which note is heard as tonic. This also means that to a listener raised in a tonal culture, a dominant seventh chord always sounds like a dominant seventh chord. If you remember and rely on these facts, the world of chromaticism is much easier to navigate. Any note in the key that supports a major or minor triad can be made to sound like it is tonic. This is called tonicization. All you need do is to precede the chord that you want to tonicize with its respective dominant or leading tone triad, or seventh chord. This dominant of some scale degree other than tonic is called a secondary or applied dominant. You cannot tonicize a note that supports a diminished triad, such as the leading tone, since there is no such thing as a diminished tonic. Take some time to study the secondary dominant chords in the key of C major. Notice that when a note is altered up a half step, it is most often the leading tone of the secondary key. When a note is lowered a half step, it is the seventh of the chord or the lowered fifth of the leading tone chord. As a rule of thumb, Whenever you find a dominant seventh chord or a diminished chord that does not belong in the key that you have been in, you are, at least temporarily, in the key that the dominant or leading tone chord does exist in. When we analyze a secondary dominant, we will always use an uppercase 5 to indicate a true dominant and the 7 diminished to indicate the leading tone. We then write a forward slash, spoken as the word of, followed by the Roman numeral of the note that is being tonicized. So we might say a 5 of 5, or 7 diminished of 2. When the leading tone 7th chord is used as the applied dominant, very often a fully diminished 7th chord is used, even when tonicizing a major triad. This could be considered a form of mode borrowing combined with tonicization. The fully diminished seventh chord allows for the half-step resolution from the seventh of the leading tone chord down to the fifth of the tonic triad, lay to sol. Remember, the half-diminished seventh chord can be the leading tone chord or a supertonic chord. The fully diminished seventh chord can only be built on the leading tone in a minor key. After becoming familiar with the secondary dominance in a major key, study the secondary dominance in a minor key and expand your practice to all major and minor keys. The principle remains the same. A dominant is always a dominant. It determines the key that you are in at that moment. The dominant seventh chord and the leading tone chord always tell our ear where the tonic is. Rely on them. Trust them. When you are doing your part writing and analysis practice, remember that if a chord quality does not make any sense in the key that you are analyzing, it must make sense in some other key. The rule of thumb that a note that is raised a semitone is most likely the leading tone remains consistent. <laughs>